When exploring Southeast Asia, no travel is complete until you've enjoyed the gastronomic experience it has to offer. And if you're looking for unique flavors, you're certainly in for a treat. But be warned, because eating in this part of the world would sometimes require a certain degree of guts. And boy, do we mean that literally. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. Today, we're listing down some of the most unusual exotic food from Southeast Asia. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos. On one of our previous episodes, we talked about the top secret vacay spots you should visit in Southeast Asia. Now, if you're the adventurous foodie, you can turn your usual food trip into an unforgettable experience by feasting on these exotic dishes that some people wouldn't even dare touch. Starting off at number 15, fried bugs. Who wouldn't love crispy deep fried finger food as appetizers? But for some people, mozzarella sticks, chips, and wedges just aren't crispy enough. If you want that extra crunch in every bite, how about some deep fried insects? Apparently, almost every Southeast Asian country has their own version of deep fried insects. Thailand, for example, has deep fried grasshoppers. For the Cambodians, it's fried tarantulas with their crunchy legs and tender abdomens. In many countries in the region like Laos, Thailand, China, and Vietnam, Fried skewered scorpions are a famous street food too. But if you're not in the mood for fried bugs, how about fried mixed worms at number 14? Timon and Pumbaa would surely agree with the Chinese choice of snack, though these fried mixed worms aren't as juicy and slimy. Because of their proteiny taste and crunchy texture, this snack is often paired with some ice cold beer. At number 13, raw ant egg salad. Thailand is famous for its spicy but refreshing salads, like the minced meat salad or larb and their green papaya salad or som tam. But if you want a different kind of protein for your salad, you should try their fatty, sweet, but terribly spicy raw ant egg salad, more commonly known to locals as koi kai motang. Next up, at number 12, bear paw soup. Believed by the Chinese to give you power and virility, bear paw soups and stews are delicacies that people are ready to burn holes in their pockets for. But much to animal rights activists' horror, some of these bears are being tortured before they meet their grisly end. Apparently, torturing them while they are still alive releases toxins and hormones in the bear that add to the flavor. At number 11, we have tamilok. Although the Filipinos refer to tamilok as woodworms, these slimy little things aren't really worms at all, but a type of saltwater clam minus the shell. They slither and burrow into rotting dead mangroves. Locals say they taste kind of like oyster, and they usually enjoy the tamilok cured in vinegar like ceviche and eat them raw. Need some soup to wash all of these crispy, slimy food down with? Next stop, Singapore for turtle soup at number 10. Because hard-shelled turtles are often regarded as a symbol of good fortune, soft-shelled turtles are often the go-to for this Chinese delicacy. The Singaporeans often cook the meat, skin, and innards of the turtle with some Chinese herbs, served steaming hot and thick, and believed by many to be an excellent aphrodisiac. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Making it to the number nine spot, bats. Though the Chinese have recently gotten a lot of attention for their bat soup, they're not the only country where these bats make their way into people's dinner tables. In Indonesia, bats are smoked to crispiness and according to locals, they taste just like beef jerky. They also have their version of the fruit bat soup, where they boil a whole bat with some coconut milk and they later feast on these creatures' tender feet and wings. But the creatures for this next delicacy didn't even live long enough to spread their feet and wings. At number 8, 
balut. Perhaps one of the most famous exotic delicacies in Asia, balut is a Filipino food that has been featured in eating challenges and some of the biggest reality shows such as Fear Factor, Hell's Kitchen, The Amazing Race, and Survivor. This delicacy is a boiled duck embryo sold by street vendors in the Philippines at night. Often served with either salt or vinegar, locals often eat everything inside the shell, from the tasty broth to that little baby duck, including its feathers, bones, head, and even its tiny beak. Don't you want to eat an unborn duck? Here's a full-grown rooster, but do you have the balls to eat their balls? These nuts? <laughs> Got <him. laughs> Yep, and number seven, rooster's testicles. If you've ever wondered what chicken's testicles look like, ta-da! These aren't sausages. These bouncy big things with their thin veins and tight texture are served boiled, stewed with spices or garlic stir fried. A quick trip down one of Taipei's markets and you're sure to find these delicacies, which are said to be soft and taste like tofu. But we hope you're not going nuts yet because, well, we have more of those for you. And number six, tiger penis soup. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That is exactly what it sounds like. The Chinese take the tiger's member, put it in the pot, thrown in some herbs, and they let it soak and boil in there. Although it is already illegal to sell, buy, and eat them in China, you'd still see markets and restaurants that sell this delicacy, which the Chinese consider a prized aphrodisiac. But if you're not satisfied with testicles from roosters and penises from tigers, how about the entire package? Making it to the number 5 spot, GOAT TPP. That's testis, penis, and placenta for you. The Chinese sure have a fascination with animal genitals. In some restaurants, they cut up and serve their organs in a soup, which Chinese men believe can help with their libido. The meat can be quite gamey and tastes just like goat meat, only stronger. But wait, don't throw away that goat's other body parts yet. At number 4, goat eyes. Can you stomach eating those pair of eyes, sitting there on that plate just staring back at you? If you can, then China is the place for you. There is a bit of resistance though when trying to remove them from the head. So you'd need to insert a fork into the side of the eye and twist it so you can pop the entire thing into your mouth. Yikes. If you think that's bad, just wait till we get to the top one dish on this list. But before that, let's fly off to Japan for number three, chicken heart and liver sashimi. You guessed that right, because it's sashimi, then yes, this is served raw. If you ever get tired of the traditional fish sashimi, yakitori places in Japan serve raw chicken breasts, hearts, and livers that are best enjoyed with a bit of soy sauce and a hint of wasabi. Want more raw food? Vietnam will be very happy to deliver. And number two, snakes. Yes, many countries serve snake meat, but have you tried taking a sip of their bile? Or even better, how about a sip of snake wine? Where an entire snake, sometimes still alive, is stuffed inside a bottle and left to steep with some rice wine. If that isn't exotic enough for you, you may want to try snake hearts. Just like the Japanese sashimi, these hearts are served uncooked. And as if this isn't raw enough, the only preparation for this dish is that they rinse it with snake blood. They like to swallow it whole, immediately after cutting it off of the cobra, while it is still beating. Definitely not for the faint of heart. But what could be worse than eating a bloody, beating heart? Do you have a bucket beside you? Great, you're gonna need that. Last but not the least, and the grossest, or most exotic of them all. At number one, my fetus. How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? Yes. 
some countries cook rice field rats, but I mean, look at these things. These mice fetuses are drowned in rice wine and served in shot glasses. In Hong Kong, they are believed to help with some liver problems and are said to prolong their life. They take a shot of that wine and just let the whole baby mouse slide down their throats. No chewing, unless you're like the spawn of Satan or something. Bottoms up? No? Which of these would you never, ever try, even if for a million dollars? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest, and make sure to hit that bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching, and until our next Bestest video.